Leadership Dojo, the foundation as an exemplary leader, build your foundation as an exemplary leader. It's by Richard he Strozzi Heckler. And Mr. Strozzi Heckler is a martial artist by discipline. He's also a writer, he's quite a bit of a philosopher. And he has written this book from the perspective of a martial artist, not an academic. So this, it's, it's a beautifully written book and he uses uh, the metaphor of a dojo, which is a place of practice. And simply, he, he calls it a place of awakening. And um, he, he says that everyone needs to go to a place like a dojo, a place of awakening, some place we all can sit and uh, or practice the art of uh, leadership. And since he is a practitioner of Aikido, or Japanese martial arts, he uses various terminologies uh, from this particular martial art. He recommends various practices in how to become a good leader, but primarily he is not talking about concepts, he's not talking about ideas. He says that leadership is just like martial arts, you need to practice leadership. And like you practice a skill in martial arts, you need to practice various skills of leadership. How do you practice? You go and find a place where you can be with people like-minded people who work on their skills uh, as leaders. Specifically the skills that he talks about are somatic skills, meaning you go to a place where you can perform certain exercises where you face people and you, disc uh, and you do a bit of role-playing, if I understand correctly, and this role-playing helps you become aware of your um, aware of your patterns, how you respond to tension, how you respond to conflict, how you respond to anxiety, what are your bodily responses, what are your bodily reactions, where you get strain in your body, in your neck, in your eyes, in your stomach, how do you breathe differently, how do you act differently. All of these things become a, a signal for you to become better human beings. So this is a great book which discusses not just concepts but it gives you exercises to go to and and perform those exercises preferably in the company of like-minded people not just by yourself he does say that you need to cultivate these skills by yourself as well that's but that's just one component of the whole thing he dedicates a whole chapter to the word dojo and he says this is mandatory dojo is a place where you go to, to practice it's a place that helps you become more aware, it heightens your level of awareness and you bring this state of awareness to any place, it could be your canteen, it could be your bedroom, it could be your living room, it could be any place you go to. You simply bring a heightened level of awareness to that place and when you become conscious of your reactions you also become uh, aware of your weaknesses. Thus, it is the first step in changing the way you respond or react to things. And what he's probably getting at mostly throughout the book is uh, how we all tend to get stressed, strained at work, how 75% of time spent in the corporate world is actually unproductive. So. Productivity has a lot to do with how people get burnt out, how people are unable to deal with stress. They deplete their energy in emotions that are destructive emotions at work. So he says if people practice how to become aware of their emotional reactions and their physical uh, reactions to uh, the environmental stimuli, they can become better leaders. And the best place for practicing or becoming aware is a dojo. Learn about interpersonal exercises, 
how your posture is affected in different environments, what are your facial expressions, the tone of voice, the strains in your eyes, your neck and other parts of the body, how is your breathing affected. So he talks in detail about that. He says that going to a sing single seminar or a class on leadership will not change you or not transform you. Leadership is all about practice, it's all about repetition. So you need to go to a dojo or you need to create your own dojo, a place where you practice regularly. So go find a place. All athletes, all stars, all singers, they find their dojo. Uh, they spend hours and hours practicing their skills, their craft, whatever their craft is. Muhammad Ali or Britney Spears or Bruce Lee, all of these people were spending 12 hours a day uh, practicing their craft, which is why they make things look so effortless, but it is all about practice. He said that as a rule you need to perform 3,000 repetitions for whatever you are practicing. If it is about posture training, if it is about tone of voice, if it is about connecting with people, uh, whatever exercises that you learn in a dojo, you need to perform them at least 3,000 times to reach a certain level of mastery or a basic level of um, um, consummate control over that particular skill. And um, finally he touches on the body of a leader. He says that your body defines your leadership style, the type of body you have. So your actions, the way you talk, the way you execute things, uh, 